Alright YouTube and we're back and we're doing another programming tutorial on how to make a game in notepad tutorial 2. So you're at your desktop where you saved quiz game or wherever you did save it and you're going to right click and hit edit. Don't hit any of these other things down here just or open. Just click edit and we're here where we left off. Now I just need to quickly fix this because last episode I think I messed up on these. Yep I did. That should be OI, actually. OI. Boom. There we go. And last episode we made a, a basic menu, um, a title, some colouring, uh, and made the info section, which is not the best, but you'll do. And there we go. So now let's actually start getting working on Start Game. Alright. So let's go to start game which will basically so so when I type in two or uh, one sorry they will go to start game which is located here which will have the title as um welcome in fact it's not gonna say welcome it's gonna say prepare to start the quiz very dramatic um, let's change the colour to something nice. Let's open up our command prompt here. And let's see what colours they have. So by typing colour H. And it'll come up with a nice colour list there. Right, 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 right there. There's a colour list. There. Right where I selected. Okay. So let's have a blue background. And let's have a greeny colour. So that's one... A. 1A, okay. Should be nice. Colour 1A. Save that quickly before we continue. Save. Prepare to start the quiz. Uh, Colour 1A. Um, yeah, let's do this then. Echo. Um, please enter your name. Dot, dot, dot. Echo dot, which places a blank line. And now let's do uh, another variable, set p, um, player, that's a good name. Um, now, here we go, set p player. Should be easy, it will just store their name in the variable called player so we can call it later. Now let's do pause null, let's do pause null. Now I'm going to quickly explain what pause null does. does. Right, pause, we know what that does. It basically enters this. So if I type in pause into my command prompt, that's pause, pause. It'll come out with press any key to continue and it will stop all the program until you press a key and it will continue the program. Um, but what pause null does, pause, space, um, uh, less than symbol, or more than, one of them, uh, null, hit enter. And basically what it does is it hides the press any key to continue part but you still have to press pr press a key to continue but it doesn't show it so if, if, I, if I now click any key there we go it will continue so basically it, it, it just hides press any key to continue which is quite handy so pause null now let's have um, an echo dot for a line and an echo there um, which says press any key to start the quiz. Very quizzy. So once they do that, they will be taken to question one. Nice, okay. Start making question one. So colon, question one. Um, CLS, quiz screen. Let's do title, question one. So that's question 11, fail. Um, should we ask colour, or should we leave that to the end? Let's leave colour to the end, actually. Nice to see this again, for no apparent reason. Um, echo. Question 1. Uh, echo. Some underlining. There we go, very nice. Echo dot. Echo. Who. 
owns the company Microsoft? That's a good question. That's a very good question indeed. Echo. Is it A? Uh, Steve Jobs. Is it B? Uh, me. Um, C. Um, Bill Gates. Which is the answer? Spacing there. Boom. That's done. Or is it D? A random guy in the dustbin. Highly unlikely, but oh well. Colon O. Surprise face. And there's a random N there. Boom. So there we go. And now we go set to P. Um, answer. We do ants one. Boom. It's good. If ants one equals 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 A. Actually, A. Then go to wr1 which basically means wrong one let's see if they get question wrong one now let's copy this beat uh control c control v to paste if it equals b then go to uh wrong one correct as well if it equals c go to c r1 which basically means correct one and if it equals d the random guy in the dustbin let go to wrong one. Alright, that's good. So now let's start making. And if they don't decide to enter anything, we'll just loop it back to question one. Save our progress. There we go, quickly. And now let's start making wrong one. CLS. Oh, that's a fail. Title. Uh, you lose. Haha. Angry face. Angry happy face. Evil face. Evil face, okay? E evil face. Got that? Um, title, you lose. Ha ha! Uh, let's do colour. Let's do a sad colour-ish. I do know a good one. That's not sad at all. Oh, uh, is it nine? No. Colour nine. Colour nine A. Ooh, that is nice. Let's do colour 9A. It looks pretty good. Colour 9A. Uh, save the end for some reason. Um, echo. Sorry, player. Which will basically, uh, in, instead of writing sorry percent player percent, it will take, it will look for a variable called player, which they would have typed back here. And what they type there, we put there. Sorry, player. Dot, dot, dot. But you lost. Sad face. Do a crying face, actually. That's good. <laughs> uh, so you pause null, which will hide the pause function. Echo dot. Add some space there. I like space. Echo. It's going to be echo. Uh, press any key. To return to the menu and there we'll just do the pause function and then go to menu that's done save it now let's do the correct one function correct one which is very nice CLS title you are correct colon free ooh this is good colour so a good colour to so 8b I have no idea what that is so let's find out colour 8b actually that could be more the losing one actually I'm to think of it so 8a oh colour 8 
Bah. HD. That's horrible. Color 8B was nice. Okay, let's switch this around quickly. Um, color 9A. Let's go with color 8B. And color 9A. Very nice indeed. Okay, so now that we've switched those, let's do Echo. Congrats. Um, congrats. You got this question. Correct. Well done. And then let's do player. So put put their player name. Echo dot. Put a line. Um, echo. Uh, press any key. Oop, bell. To continue. Don don don. Pause now. Uh, pause now. All right, then go to Q2. Question two. All right, I'm probably going to end the video here. Um, yeah, that's good. Today, we accomplished making question one and the start game system. Very nice indeed. So, see you all next time. And this is Adam. Goodbye. Dun, dun, dun.